guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Cold today. It was oh, like, I like your shirt. Today, and then it got really cold today, so I'm like in a sweatshirt or something. So. <laughs> we actually are um, going to Disney and Universal next week, so Harry Potter World and all that stuff. So Zach has never been, and the older two are like huge Harry Potter people now, and so anyway, we're taking them. Um, for a week, leaving on Monday. And so I'm just like trying to get ahead on everything today. So I'm just like banging everything out. And I think that is yeah. being recorded, but <laughs> I didn't really mean to record all that. But anyway, yeah. So it's just been a day of trying to get everything taken care of for when I'm gone. So craziness. I get it. We've been to Universal Studios to the Harry Potter stuff there. And my kids love that, especially the the book I mean they've all seen the movie but they get you know more out mine of haven't seen any of the movies I'm making them read the books first and so um that's my role if there's a movie and a book you have to read the book first so um just because I'm the a literature person and that's whatever that's just my role so they have to do that and they're not allowed to read past book four um because that's when it gets pretty dark so they've only read like the beginning of the series so far like I think maybe when they're 10 or 11 or a little older because they already I mean they have yeah. Um, you know, like still to this day, they have bad, yeah. they have a hard time going, is that real? Or are those people real? Because I saw like the actor, like the watch, they have, I've let them watch the trailers for the first two or three movies. And they're like, well, those they are people. So they just have a really hard time separating like fictional characters, like the live action too, with Beauty and the Beast. Like they get the cartoon stuff isn't real, but with the live action, they're like, well, but, but it is a person and I'm like, well, he's an actor playing the person. They just have a hard time with that. So anyway, um, so they get scared still. So they're not watching all of, all of, or they're not reading all of them yet. Cause I feel like they would be in my bed even more than they are. So <laughs> be a lot. Zachary's in my bed pretty much every night. He's not, he's not watching any of Harry Potter or reading any of it yet. He's three. So he's not quite there yet. Uh, yeah. Great. My fourth child watched a lot more stuff than my. Yeah, and it's hard to when they're older siblings. I'm pretty sure she has to know the Harry Potter. It's hard exactly. to separate them, you know? Okay, I'm going Yeah, to we just need to pretty much. Oh, sorry, is my internet cutting out? Yeah, it is for me. I don't know, is it, is it for everyone? It is for me. Do I need to move? Let me see. Hi, Amy's luck. I don't know. You want to go for it? All right. She does not really need an introduction. We all know who she is, and she's amazing at what she does and kills it month in and month out. And she's a very, very busy mom of four kids um, who are extremely active and a million activities and so if anybody knows time management and how to get things done it is Stacy Couple. so I am so excited that we get to have her tell us how she gets done how what's working for her right now um how she's able to get through the business building activities the income producing activities that matter so I'm going to turn it over to Stacy. okay first I want to make sure this is working because I think my internet is still doing weird things. Can y'all hear me okay? Right now I can. It's saying your bandwidth is low. Okay. Y'all just let me know if you can't hear me. Um, okay. So tonight, yeah, it's going to be a very working call. So make sure that you have like a spiral. Make sure you have um, another device. So if you're on your computer, get your phone. If you're on your phone, get your computer. Um, I'm going to introduce some things or just give some tips and then um, we'll have some time to actually work and do our, our stuff tonight. Um, and I'm going to give some general tips of the way I do my power. But then I'm also going to just hone in on what we're all kind of doing this week with our CEO codes. So um, okay, the first thing I want to say is um, something different I've done this year is doing affirmations. 
Um, and so I do want to take a couple of minutes to either read over your affirmations. If you don't have affirmations, I want you to write one, but I want to give a little bit of guidance and explain why it's been so important for me. Um, I do like to read these every single morning changed a lot of, of my life. Like that sounds dramatic, but if you think of your affirmations, just like you think of, you know, when you sit down to plan your day and you write down what you have to do for the day, that's really what your affirmations are. You're writing down goals, but you're writing down what you need to do, who you need to be, how you need to grow to achieve those goals. And so this year I started off um, my affirmations and I said, I am someone who seeks the Lord first in my day and for my day. All I do glorifies him, my prayers, my coaching, my serving, my family, my business, my words, and my actions. I, I wrote this affirmation and I thought, okay, what I need to do is if, if this is what I want to do first, I need to do that first. So I've changed the way I do my mornings. Before I let myself do my workout, before I let myself get on and do messenger or any of my work, I have my Bible time. And that's in part because I've been reading these affirmations over and over and it reminds me who I need to be. Um, the same thing with my second affirmation. I put, I, I'm someone who sacrifices a little and obtain my goals over time in fitness, in homekeeping and in my business. And that homekeeping part was something that's been on my radar for the longest time. Like, I feel like I've had the messiest house forever because it's always the last priority with four kids and we're shuffling everywhere. Like there's always like somebody's toy or socks or something like it's just, it's a mess. And I was to the point where I really wanted help, but I didn't even think I could let a housekeeper in my house. Like, um, I was like this to me. And so I put it in my affirmations and starting last month, I got a housekeeper. I was like, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of reading these affirmations over and over and not doing anything about it. So I got a housekeeper last month. She came today. Y'all, my house is immaculate. Like every counter, every floor, every, everything. And in part, because I set it as a goal. I said, this is something that I do. This is something I'm going to do every day. And it's the same thing with our businesses. So if you, if you're new to affirmation, start off saying I am someone who and think about what your goals are think about what you're already doing and maybe just need to do a little bit more how you want to grow and just kind of finish that sentence and then be diligent before you do your power hour to read through them so it reminds you what you're doing if that makes sense so I'm going to set a timer for two minutes um, and either read over your affirmations or write yourself a new one Okay, um, I'm going to share just a couple more that I put in here because it does relate to our business specifically. And, and if you need help with coming up with more, um, I put, I'm someone who chooses first and put others above myself. I start with my day uh, with my groups, my family, and to those to be a good steward over my groups. And that when I'm having conversations with, conversations with people, when I'm having 
invitations, I'm looking at their best interest. And I mean, we know from doing this, we know financially, we know coaches, the people who get the best results are the people who get the challenge packs. So I remember when I first started coaching and I remember, you know, people would say, oh, I don't really care about the nutrition part. I just want the workouts. Well, in the beginning, I thought, oh, for you. And so we're just going to, okay, that's fine. But now I, I think of them first and I think they are not going to get the results they they need they don't understand because i know that's where i came from when i came to beach body i thought i just needed the workouts too um and so when you remind yourself of what you're doing and that you're here to help other people first introducing the, the best thing that's going to help them it, it it reminds you that you're doing it for them and i think that's that's important especially for new coaches because because nobody, nobody be salesy and nobody wants to push somebody into something they don't want. But we need to remember that we're offering them and put them first. So that's just another thing. Like, it's just a part of, of the affirmations that I read every single day. Um, okay, so the next thing that I want to do, I kind of just want to go over like the four vitals. That to me is the heart, is those income producing activities that we do every day. Um, the first thing we're going to do is having um, new connections with people. Uh, there's a couple of ways if you're not used to doing that. Um, when I first began, I only had Facebook. I didn't have, have internet. What you can do is go to your Facebook and you can type friends or you can find, find where your friends are. And then go to where it says, it'll either say um, suggested friends. If you're on your phone, see this, but it says like suggestions at the top. And this should, we're going to just spend two minutes doing this. Um, and there's different ways that I would do this on Instagram, but on Facebook, I would go ahead and go to who Facebook is suggesting that you know, because you already have a lot of friends in common. And I look for people that I have like probably more than 20 friends in common with. Um, but you don't want to just add them. You want to look, I like to see like, who are these people? Where do I know them from? What cluster of friends do I know them from? And I've been doing this long enough now that sometimes it's just friends of friends of friends. But what you want to really make sure of is that they're not friends with another Arete coach, because we want to respect if somebody is already friends with that person. And honestly, they, sh they just don't need to see that many people working out and talking about their food. Like, so um, like right now, I'm looking at somebody, we have 32 friends in common. So I just clicked on her. Okay, okay, so I see that she's friends with Corey and Melissa. So I'm not, I'm not going to friend request her because she probably, she's, she, she's, she's, she doesn't need another coach to be in her feed right now, unless that's what she, unless, you know, she needs, we want to support each other. But I'm talking mostly from like a customer standpoint. Okay, so here's somebody. We have like 14 friends in common. There's no common beach body coaches. And so I'm just going to go ahead and add her. So you really, if you just do like three of these a day, um, that builds your Facebook so quickly. And I cannot tell you the number of times throughout the years that somebody has, you know, they've been watching you for a while and they message you and they say, um, I don't even know how we became friends, but I've been watching you. And can you tell me about this program? And you didn't even really do person other than just add them to your feed. So um, I'm not somebody who, once they follow me, I'm not going to Instagram yes all day long. If somebody follows me on Instagram, I will reach out and say, hey, you know, and we'll get that in a minute. But on Facebook, um, it's just a simple ad. And so we're going to take two minutes. Um, and if you're like me, you've probably been spending a lot of time on Instagram and haven't maybe even done this in a while on Facebook. So go to your Facebook, go to your suggested friends and add three people.
Okay, so easy peasy. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is new conversations. And this is one of my favorite things to start the power hour off with. I remember Corey said one time, like, just so if you can start your power off, power hour off by just blessing other people and just seeing how you can contribute. Um, to me, it just sets your heart in the right place and it just makes your power hour more fun. Like I look forward to my power every day because I, that I get to be a blessing to people. So some new conversation ideas, we all know birthday messages, you know, you can literally go to your phone on Facebook and in the suggestions type birthday uh, in the search engine type birthday and you'll get all of your friends birthdays. Um, if it's somebody that I have never talked to, I'm not. But if it's somebody that I just haven't talked to in a while, um, so that it's not awkward, I just say, hey, hey, saw your name pop up. Just wanted to say happy birthday. I hope you have a great day and get to do something special to celebrate. Or if you notice that you missed a friend's birthday, that's totally okay. Say, hey, just now saw your name pop up. Hope you had a great day, you know, and just, and leave it at that. At this point, it's not about beach body. It's just about connecting with people. So birthdays are a great one. Um, if you know anybody and you want to check on them, you know, I had a friend, a, a prospect today. I don't really know if she's on Instagram, but she's had vertigo. And so I just reached out to her today and just asked her how she was doing. And when she came back and said she was feeling better, I didn't say, okay, great. So have you tried the Shanti program yet? I know I just, it, at this point, it's just about just establishing relationships with people. Um, Another great one for this week, teacher appreciation. Y'all, this, you should be, you should be, I don't care if you're a Beachbody coach or not, you should be messaging all the teachers that you know. But if your kids have teachers, just send them a private message and just say, hey, I know it's teacher appreciation week and you're probably getting lots of, you know, goodies and stuff, but I really want to take the time to tell you how much I appreciate the work that you've done. I know you teachers have gone over and beyond, you know, and just, just send that message. Uh, it's going to mean so much to them. So um, those are some ideas that you can do, but any, any way that you can think of blessing someone. So we're just going to take two minutes right now. I'm going to set the timer and just reach out to somebody that you know and just, just aim at blessing and encouraging them. Okay, I just sent a message to my um, second graders teacher. She is amazing and she's, she, I just want to tell her that. Okay, so we're going to get into the invitations and specifically we've got CEO codes. So we want to make sure that we are using our CEO codes. You want to make sure that you're reaching out to your downline. Um, this is a big thing for us to focus on for the rest of until tomorrow at midnight um, is when it ends. But um, things that you can do that. Um, one thing that I always like to do, and I'm going to share my screen here. Oh, wait. No, I can't share my screen. 
Can I share it now? Corey, will it let me share? Yeah, I'm going to make you a Okay, now you should be able to. Yeah. Okay. So there are a couple of ways that I like to look at um, renewals that are coming up. Um, but I also want to look at the renewals that have already happened in the past 30 days. Um, and in fact, I find that those usually have a little bit more like FOMO attached to them because you can say you have five more days, you know, until you hit your 30 days. But you always want to look back at, I'm trying to get. And this is just something free too, but if you're not at Emerald, you want to really just try to get to Emerald. And it, it, it can be just signing up your spouse and a parent or a spouse and a best friend, but I'm going to show you why, one of the reasons why it's so important. So once you make Emerald and you start opening up your Beachbody account, basically for volume, um, once you hit SE5, you get free leads and SE10, you get free commission. And so like I'm looking right here at who I'm going to invite um, to be able to use my CEO code. And so right here, this Tyler, he's a free customer. Beachbody gave him to me. He's doing a quarterly. So what I can do, I mean, he's paying 160 a year on Beachbody On Demand alone. And so what I can do, I can reach out to him and say, hey, Tyler, you know, just wanted to let you know. and and that I've talked to him he's pretty new so I need to introduce myself but um I can let him know that for a hundred dollars you know tomorrow for a hundred dollars he can get all of his beach by on demand so he's already going to save twenty dollars just at that plus he's going to get all the nutrition and the shakeology and our new program um, but that's what I do I like to go back and, and look and see as far back as 30 day or 30 days um another one is is just to look for Shakeology. So this was another free customer Beachbody gave me and they're doing Shakeology. So they're paying $130 a month for Shakeology alone. So I can reach out to him and say, hey, would you like to get your next Shakeology for 100 and also get Beachbody On Demand for free with it? Um, so, I mean, that's just, that's how amazing these codes are. Like pretty much whatever somebody's doing, it's going to be a better deal for them to come and do the Let's Get Up code, even if they're not interested in Let's Get Up. So you know, if you have coaches that are like, well, I, I just don't have anybody interested in the dance program. I'm like, that's okay. Like it's a $140 challenge pack. It just also comes with let's get up. So open it up to, to more people than then would just be interested in the dance program. But um, so I would go down all the way to 30 days out and look and see whose BOD is renewing, whose Shakeology is shipped or not Shakeology for that, but for, for who's, yeah, for Shakeology, because if they're going to be going the next month, I would reach out to them. Um, and then of course you can go to your subscription reports to see those that are upcoming. And I would search separately. It just helps me. Um, I would search by Beach by On Demand and then I would search by Shakeology and same thing. You just wanna see whose stuff is coming up so that you can reach out to them and see if this would be a better deal for them. So if you've never used this before, for um i'm putting just beach by on demand you can search by any of these active customers and then i can see whose stuff is coming up and i can reach out to them that way so it's just an easy way to, um, if you're looking for people to invite and you have people who have renewals coming up, that's always an easy one to go to. Um, 
just make a list of like 10 people that you think would benefit from health and fitness. And I'm not the Hey Girl person. I'm not usually somebody people I haven't talked to, you know, in forever. But I mean, I'm sure that there are people in your life that you are having regular conversations with that So, I mean, you may just want to sit down and make a list of 10 new people and you can invite them tomorrow. Um, of course, anybody who's liked or commented on any of your posts for Instagram or Facebook, you want to reach out to them, thank them for their support and just say, you know, I didn't know if you were interested, um, but we have a sample I would love for you to try. The link always. Um, and when we have something like a free info group or a free sample, I'm a lot more likely to invite people that maybe I haven't had um, like a continued conversation with. Um, if somebody just likes something, I'll probably ask them if they want to do something for free because it's it's just, it's something they can do if they want to and if they don't, they don't have to. Um, but I'm gonna see, let's see what time is it. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and we're gonna do some invitations. Either be looking at your renewals or if you, if you don't have people that have renewals, make a list of 10 people and invite one now. I always believe in working from a list no matter what you're doing. Um, and then make it, make it something that you're going to actually invite one to right here tonight.
Okay, and last thing, follow-up. Um, I know y'all have all heard the saying, fortune is in the follow-up, but um, it's so, maybe weren't ready last month or the month before that, because this would be a great thing for somebody who just wasn't sure or price was a um, was it was an issue. Um, now that we have the CEO codes, it would be great to go ahead and follow up with some of those people that maybe weren't ready in the past. And of course, anybody that you've been talking to in the past week, you just want to make sure that you let them know that you're still there and that they can come be a part of this with us. So we're just going to reach back out to people that we have been talking to and have already invited.
Okay, that's pretty much it. That's just those those income producing activities. Um, I I just like doing my power hour with other people helps me, and I love to see it. So I, I hope I know a lot of you guys that have do power hours a lot, and I know you guys probably a lot of y'all um, have heard a lot of this before, but um, hopefully you learn something new. I always learn something when I hear someone else talk about their power hours. So that's really all I have for tonight. Thank you, Stacy. It's always I always enjoy just hearing also other people go through it and just hear like even a little bit of like a little tweak in language and sometimes it's just like oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense it's so simple but yeah you know, that would work really well so anyway thank you so much for your time um as always um i will put the recording up in our team page and check in with you guys later have a good night that's good good night y'all